Hey, there, TV and movie buffs. Welcome back to our channel where we take a fine tooth comb to your favorite shows and films. You sound like a robot. To find the mistakes that the creators hope we wouldn't notice. Today we're diving into the world of E-Clone High to see what historical inaccuracies and plain old continuity errors we can dig up. Well, this should be interesting. Let's get started, shall we? Well, it's about time. <laughs> First up, we have a classic case of the now you see it, now you don't trope with Joan of Arc's school books. In one shot, she's holding her books, probably filled with some deep existential texts. God, your big words turn me on. But then, in a close-up, Joan throws her hands up, and voila. No more books. Maybe she's practicing some medieval witchcraft? But hold on, because in the very next shot, her books are back. Turns out, Joan's not only a clone, but also a part-time magician. Who knew? Son of a bitch, I knew it! What? We missed the last 20 years? Moving on to our next blooper. We've all had that guy in high school who seemed like he'd been held back a few too many times. Well, in a clone high, this guy seems to be wearing a black hat. But wait, did he just age down and change his fashion sense between shots? I guess even background characters can have their own glow-ups. A moment of silence for the mysteriously vanishing black hat. May he rest in peace. Sticking to the same scene, there's a bit of musical chairs going on here. One moment, we have a kid in a green hoodie sitting next to good old Abe Lincoln, probably discussing some serious presidential business. But wait a sec, isn't that Julius Caesar next to Abe now? What is going on? Did the kid in the green hoodie fall into a time warp? Or maybe Caesar just couldn't resist a good ol' backstabbing. Of seats. Next up, we've got Abe Lincoln pulling a Jesus, walking in another man's shoes, specifically, Christopher Columbus's. And it's clear these shoes aren't made for walking because Abe's feet are bleeding. But a scene later, Abe's feet are as good as new. I guess the clone high also offers advanced healthcare on the side. Good for you, Abe. Good for you. And finally, we have Abe again, he's the star of the show, after all, standing behind Joan of Arc in a seemingly safe environment. But hold on, what's that appearing out of nowhere? A bear trap. Maybe it's a metaphor for the pitfalls of high school? Or maybe it's just another mistake in a long line of them. Either way, it wasn't there before, and now it is. So, watch your step, Abe. And that's all the time we have for today's episode of Emma Mistakes You Missed. Remember, even our favorite shows aren't perfect, and that's part of the fun. So, keep your eyes peeled for those little slips and join us next time as we continue to expose the hilarious errors hiding in plain sight. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mistake-filled content. Until next time, happy watching.